Hello, I'm Eric Renault, and this is a video for Photolia, the stock photography community. In this video, I'm going to explore a very easy and quick way of changing the tone of an image using gradient maps. Let's jump in and find out how it's done. So here I am in Photoshop and I've got my image all ready to go. Of course, it comes from Photolia and there's more details up on the screen. So let's add a gradient map. There's several ways to do this. I can go to Image, Adjustments, and then Gradient Map. Or I can come to the bottom of the Layers panel and I can make an adjustment layer of Gradient Map. And I can do exactly the same by clicking on this icon here. And that's what I'm going to do. Now straight off the bat we get this really nice black and white image and it's black and white because it's governed by our foreground and background colors black and white respectively but i can change this without having to change my foreground colors by going into the gradient itself and i'll click on the strip here that shows me my gradient and i'm into the gradient editor now you can see my gradient there the black to white strip let's change a color I can either double click on the stop here, or I'm just going to cancel that. I can click once, invoke the color tab here, and choose it from there, just clicking once. I'm going to choose a nice dark brown, and you can see how that changes the image straight away. It's as easy as that. Now you'll notice there's this little diamond in between. And this is the midpoint between the colors and I can change this as well. So I can click on that and drag it to the right in this case to make it far more contrasty. Similarly, I can click and drag it back and it bleaches it out. So quick and easy way to do that. I can also add more colors should I wish just by clicking down here and then choosing the color I want. I'm going to choose this color here. There we go. Again, I can choose the midpoint between the colors using these diamonds. Now there's some built in gradients, but these presets really don't do anything for this particular image. I'm going to go back to black and white, but there are more. If I click on this cog, I can open up several more sets, including photographic toning. It's going to ask me if I want to add these or replace them. I'm going to replace them by clicking OK. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. You can see there's quite a few here. And just by clicking on it, I can change the tone completely of this image. I'm going to go for that first one I tried. I quite like that. I'm going to click OK. I'm just going to hide that panel. Now that isn't the end of the story. I can reduce the opacity, of course, but I can also change the blend mode. So let's try it in multiply. That's before and after. And I can change it to screen perhaps for a more bleached out effect. I can even go to soft light. In this case, I'm going to go back to multiply and maybe reduce the opacity just a little bit. So that's before and that's after. Very quick changing of tone using the gradient map. I'm Eric Renault. Thank you very much for joining me here at Photolia. Don't forget to check out the rest of this series and to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.